This icon here is what you use to set up your camera. Select the pick list and notice that we can either turn on and off the camera, which is basically used for uh, being able to define your perspectives. You can set up all of these, which is moving targeted distance, or perhaps you already have a camera and you want to adjust one single option. In this case, let's say we want to set up. Now it wants to know which view do you, would you like to change. So let's say, for instance, we want to change the right view. Now, first thing it says is to find the target point. We're going to say that we want this midpoint on the left side here to be our target point. Now it's asking us to define the camera position. Again, we can rotate this in any other view. And let's suggest something like this. And now it's asking us for a front clipping plane. And remember, the front clipping plane determines what and how much you're seeing in the direction and touch a second one. Now based on this, notice that it's cut off some lines, but if we fit it, we now have a perspective that was based on those three points. Let's try it again. Select the icon, touch the view, determine what target you want to have, move your cursor to define the camera position, so we'll use the top view this time, and begin moving your cursor. Remember, this little box represents how much you see during your adjustments for your views. Now, if too much gets clipped, just simply hit the mountain, which is the update or the fit command, and touch the screen. And there is how we use that camera.